In this video, I'm gonna show you how to instantly connect Claude to 30,000 automations. Here's a quick 15 second demonstration of what I mean before actually joining them. And could you send all this information to my email address? All right, there we go. And it's now gonna begin sending our email. Date me with this meeting, but I now received an email. So let me go ahead and check that. All right, so here is the response. You could see by the end of this video, you will have Claude set up so it can perform actions on your behalf instead of it being a glorified chatbot. Also, do not worry if you're not technical. I'm gonna break it down so literally anybody can do it. All right, enough yapping, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm inside of Claude desktop now. And as you can see right here, there's access to 17 different MCP tools that I'm gonna show you how to configure later on in this video extremely easy to do. However, I'm just gonna come here and just ask it to perform some actions for me. So let me go ahead and speak with Claude now. Can you please check my calendar for Monday and see if I have any meetings? As well as, can you give me any information on all the attendees for my meetings so I could be up to date before actually joining them? And could you send all this information to my email address, brockmesserich at gmail.com, updating me with my calendar events, as well as summaries of the people that will be attending the meeting. All right, there we go. Also, that tool I just used right there is called Aqua Voice. It's an amazing tool. I literally just press a key on my keyboard, speaking to my computer instead of typing. It saves me so much time. So there's a little tip for you guys. Next up, I'm just gonna click send and it's gonna begin firing off these actions. So I need to allow this tool. You could see run Google Calendar find event. I'm just gonna click allow and it's gonna go through step by step and utilize these tools I gave it access to. So it looks like it actually found this event. Next up, it called this other tool and it's actually doing some research on on me. I'm going to click allow and it's now going to begin sending our email. Let's give this a second and I should be receiving this very shortly. All right. So not only did Claude update me with this meeting, but I now received an email. So let me go ahead and check that. All right. So here is the response. You could see it includes a summary of our upcoming meeting on Monday. So it talks about the date, the time, the title of it, the location, so the link to our Google Meet, as well as it did some research on me. Obviously was able to identify that this was doing research on myself. However, I just did this for the, like to explain in this video, I didn't wanna use one of the actual people on my calendar. So it actually gave some pretty good background here, but guys, I got this output simply by speaking with Claude Desktop, I asked it to do research on this and it did, it sent me an email. So you guys could see that it has actions to actually perform certain tasks instead of it just being like a chatbot. As well as before, we wouldn't be able to ask any information regarding our calendar because we have to give it access to being able to see our calendar. That is what these MCP servers allow you to do. I'm gonna show you some other use cases that you can use inside of Claude using the Zapier MCP. All right, so for this next use case, I'm gonna be speaking with my Notion database in order to get information about my upcoming videos my team needs to work on. And then I'm gonna send this information to Slack and basically just tell my team that we need to get going on this. So let me go ahead and speak with Claude and get this going. Hey, can you get some information inside of my Notion database called Content Calendar? I want you to look at the entry titled How to Instantly Connect Claude Desktop to 30,000 Automations. Give me some information inside of this Notion page in order to brief my team in Slack about this video. Along with, I want you to write a message to them saying that we need to get going on this quickly so we could post this by Wednesday. I want you to post that in my Slack channel called Notion Databases. All right, here we go. So it's looking like it's now trying to fetch this database inside of my Notion, which this is actually a database right here that I'm referring to. So this is like my content calendar. I wanna pull this information and then get it summarized and sent to Slack so my team could know we need to begin working on this video here. All right, so it looks like after some troubleshooting was actually able to find this page inside of my database. And now it's beginning to craft this Slack channel message, which I should be receiving shortly. And here we go. If I come inside of my Notion workspace updates page, you could see there is now this message. So urgent video brief, how to instantly connect Claude desktop to 30,000 plus automations. Hey team, we need to get moving on this video ASAP. It needs to be posted by Wednesday. Along with it has a breakdown of everything that is included inside of this page inside of my Notion. So it talks about the video structure. It talks about the five practical use cases. All this information was pulled from that Notion database and I pulled it from Claude and sent all of this from 
the Claude desktop app. All right, for this next use case, I'm gonna use Claude to search my email inbox and find a specific email about concert tickets that I purchased a while back. Not only that, I'm gonna have it create a label inside of Gmail in order for me to access this email later on. Everybody hates sorting through their email inbox, so this will actually help me do that. Hey Claude, can you help me find an email in my Gmail inbox regarding Lumineers tickets I bought a while back? I want you to please label this email with a label titled Lumineer concert tickets, as well as give me a quick breakdown of this email address right here in this chat. Whoops, I didn't mean to say email address, but let's give it that and run it. So it's gonna run the find email tool here. That would give it access to, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's so simple to do. All right, here we go. So here is this email. Obviously this is a mock email that I sent to myself, but it was able to identify this. It then went ahead and actually labeled this Lumineer concert tickets. So if I need to reference this later on, I could easily just go to my labels and easily find this email, as well as I asked it to give a breakdown of that email right here. And it went ahead and did that. I talked about the event details. It gave me my ticket information. That is an awesome use case where you could use this to summarize or find previous emails from your Gmail inbox, all with the Zapier MCP. Not only that, let's try to, let's send this over to Slack. Great, can you now send this exact information over to Slack? Put it in the Notion updates channel. So imagine that we have like our assistant or something, or we want to send this to somebody that we want to manage our ticket information. This will automatically be pasted into Slack. So not only did we find the email, add a label to it, but we are now gonna send this to an external channel for somebody to actually take a look at. Again, I'm only using a couple different apps here, but you could connect these to any of the apps that Zapier actually integrates with. This is just stuff that I would personally use myself because they're apps I use every day. And boom, right here, we have this breakdown of this email with the event details. So our team can now look at this for easy reference. All right, guys, now that we actually went through a couple different uses cases on what we could do with this. I'm going to show you exactly how to enable this right here using the Zapier MCP. This is going to be extremely simple to do. So stay with me and you'll figure out exactly how you could do this yourself. All right. There are three very simple steps we need to take in order to set this up. So first we need to come over and sign up with Zapier. Here is a link. There's a link in the description. And once we click this get started button, we are now going to be in this Zapier MCP settings section here. We're going to come over to Claude on the left-hand side. We're going to click copy. We're going to copy this code here. Also, don't get scared of this code. It's really simple to do. From here, we need to actually download the Claude desktop app. So once you have that downloaded, let's go ahead and open it. Once we're inside of our Claude desktop app, we need to come up here and click on Claude, go to settings, click on developer, and we need to come down, click edit config. And whatever is in here, let's just delete all of this. We're going to paste in that code, and then we need to get our specific URL here that we're going to replace. So come back over to our Claude desktop integration here on the Zapier documentation. From here, we're gonna click on MCP and we need to copy this MCP server endpoint here, paste it in there. And then all we need to do is exit this and save. Also, I'm using cursor in order to edit that, but use whatever code editor you already have on your computer or cursor if you wanna follow these steps exactly how I did it. That should be good to go now. All we need to do is quit the Claude desktop app. All right, so once we do that and we actually restart our Claude desktop app, we should should now see this little toolbar here with our MCP tools. If you're not seeing this, you might need to retry this step one more time. Try to close down Claude again and reopen Claude and this should pop up right here. And next up, I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually add these MCP tools and it's extremely easy to do. So we're simply gonna come back to Zapier and in this left-hand side here, all we're going to do is click on MCP and where we got our specific URL here, we just need to click on edit MCP actions. As you could see, inside of my saved MCP actions, I have all of these enabled. So sending an email, find database item in Notion, Stripe create payment link, Google Calendar, find event, create product in Stripe, all this stuff. This is where we actually give utility to our assistant in Claude. We just come here and type in essentially what action we're looking for. So let's just say we're trying to automate something in Trello. Let's click Trello or let's search for Trello. Let's say we want to create a new card or we want to create a checklist or something. Now, all we need to do is connect our Trello account, which is very easy to do with Zapier. All I need to do is click allow, click on refresh, and now this has access to our Trello account. We just need to click on enable action. For example, let me show you how to set up this send Gmail action. Let me just come down here, click on add step. Even though I already did this, we're gonna come to Gmail. We're gonna click on send email, and it's literally as simple as connecting your account, which mine is already connected. And I'm gonna let AI guess these fields. So I'm gonna guess, have it guess the to recipient. I'm gonna have it guess the subject, and I'm gonna have it guess the body 
body. We could come in and set a specific value for this and make it specific to whatever we want, but I'm not gonna touch that because that complicates things. This will be sufficient for what I showed you early on in this video. And there we have it. Now we have all of these actions that our MCP server has access to inside of Claude. In order to see these updated inside of Claude, what I need to do is I need to redo that step of actually going into the configuration. So I'd come to settings, go to developer. I need to edit the configuration again. And I basically just need to make a simple change like this, save it again. And then I'll have to reboot Claude again. And then once I were to reboot Claude again, these new actions will be here. So guys, there you have it. That's how you use Zapier MCP to actually give actions to your Claude desktop app. Now we could literally speak with Claude and have it perform actions for us like it's a real AI agent or a real assistant that could actually perform and do things for us. So if you guys got some value from this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies, showing you how to leverage new technology just like this as a non-technical person, which I am. Appreciate you guys staying this far. Seriously, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.